Good morning and welcome to BOTB HQ in Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, a presenter here at BOTB. And we're here this morning to judge the latest dream car competition, which ran from the 2nd to the 8th of November 2020. Just before I hand over to our lawyer this morning, once again, massive congratulations to last week's winner of the dream car competition, Tony Overington, a very emotional Tony Overington, won a brand new Audi RS6 and £100,000. I'd love for you to go and have a look at the video. It's quite, uh, quite moving to say the least. I'd now like to pass over to Charlie Hansen from Onside Law, who'll oversee the proceedings this morning. My name's Charlie Hansen from Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditing company assets. I would now like today's judges to introduce themselves and using a secure link provided, mark on the screen where they think the center of the board. The group will then come to a final panel decision. Good morning, my name is Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee and footballer and looking forward to uh, playing again in the near future. Good morning, my name is Andy Braithwaite. I'm a football referee, mentor and licensed observer. Good morning, my name is Hugh Gilroy. I'm a referee, mentor, tutor and observer. Good morning, my name is Alain Goma. I'm an ex-professional footballer, having played for Paris Saint-Germain, Newcastle and Fulham. Hi, my name is Kieran Fitzgibbon. I've played football for more than 30 years and I'm now a senior county referee. I'm Nigel Hicks. I've been a supply league referee for the best part of 30 years and I'm an experienced football administrator. Good morning, my name's Liam Walsh. I'm a former referee after 23 years. I'm currently a FA Observer and Head Coach for the Middlesex Referees Academy. Good morning, my name is Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex-professional football player, having been with Chelsea, Fulham and Leighton Norwich. Hi, my name's Renee Hector and I'm a football player for Watford FC Women and I'm a coach for Tottenham Hotspur Foundation. My name is Ari Mendonca. I've been involved in football for over 30 years, first as a player, then as a referee. Judges, please now come to a final panel decision. For your reference, the larger white cross is the calculated average of the 10 individual selections. Ah, thank you, Charlie. Uh, good morning, all. Morning. 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 We've got a, a, a fair spread here, both up and down. If I go to the parameters... And then I'll, although we can't really see these guys' eyes, um, he's looking in this general direction. Again, we've got a fair, fair spread. I see quite a quite a big section of um, from these eyes, um, the guy in the background. Um, I'll go, Nigel. Your Chosen cross is the closest to this calculated average. Just wanted to, to hear your hang on what you think is happening in the shot. Well, thank you. Um, Matt. It looks like it, to me is 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 about to go for uh, uh, to flick it over his head. Um, he's leaning back with his body posture, and uh, from the angle of his eyes, I feel that the, the uh, ball's quite close. So, uh, I'm, I'm, as much as anything, I'm taking into account uh, the, the position of his body and and his boot, um, as well as the angle of his eyes. Um, which has led me to put it there, just sitting on the shoulder of the uh, steward in the background. As yeah. you say, the, uh, the, uh, the, the player in the background, his eyes are blurred, but I feel he's looking roughly down in the direction of the, uh, the ball in the player's boot. Yeah, OK. I mean, obviously, we've got a couple of, well, three really that are outside quite a little bit further away than, than the other seven, uh, which is Rene's uh, Hughes. Um, and Liam, you're closest to the players. And you see what it does, it sort of brings the average, calculated average up, but it still only encompasses really two, possibly three choices. Um, if I put you, Liam and Rennie's back in, um, I think it comes a little bit too low. I mean, it's closer mm. to mine. I thought that the player, you could still see grass on the bottom of his boot, grass. So I think he just literally, his foot is coming off the, off the turf and as, as Nigel said, to play the ball. 
but I think we need to progress really certainly with Rene um, and Hughes out. Uh, Liam, I, yours is closest to the player, uh, the two players. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just wanted to hear your thoughts. Um, I just believe that, um, as referred to earlier, the guy with the man bun and the lovely pink boots, I think he's just, he's falling backwards. He's going to just like knock the ball over and kick it. Uh, and I just felt the, I did take something from the guy, the other guy in the background, it's just, a, you know, where he was looking. And I just yeah. felt the ball was just dropping into him there. It just seemed a, a nice height, a nice place. Yeah. Really I mean, stick, that's it. I mean, yeah. I, I haven't removed you. I think it's quite important. I think um, we, we talked a few weeks ago about um, clusters of, of judges' choices. Mm. And we are, there's, there's five choices outside this calculated average. So we have, you know, Anna's at the top, um, Liam and mine are a little bit lower and closer to the player who's, look, we all think is going to play the ball. I mean, Ari, you're with this these choices the furthest to the left what was your um look on this picture um yes i i, I felt that uh, well with the body language of the, the player uh, that is with is with the leg up i can see even his position of his foot is slightly slightly to 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 the um, to the right so which tells me that he's going to um pass the ball he's going to control i wouldn't say control the ball i think he's going to he's going to take uh, uh, the opportunity to straight away to move the direction of the ball. I feel that the ball should be more or less in symmetry with the, with the, with his with his boot. Uh, that's why I, I I came I went for for, for that for, for 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 the position that that that, um, that I have, and I see that the player is is looking slightly down. Uh, we we almost all all of us agree with that, and the position of his boot tells me a lot. Um, for 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 the cross that, that, that I placed in, that's yeah, why okay. I, I went over there. I felt that the ball would be would be would be would be coming down, and it would basically flick the ball to one side. Uh, in this in this case, to the to the to his left. Yeah, Allah, uh, you're the highest of the of the choices left. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, no, I thought the you know the player on the right was quite composed, and uh, and to me, I was shed you know between the idea of him controlling the ball. Or flicking it, you know, backwards. Uh, but looking at the position of his foot, uh, I think more is going to control the ball. Yeah. And uh, and the fact that he's quite composed, uh, it shows me that you know the ball is coming down to his foot and he's going to control it. It doesn't look. Uh, it doesn't seem to be uh, challenged. So he's got plenty of time. Mm. And I think even if if he's leaning quite, you know, uh, backwards. I think you know still he's gonna he's gonna control the ball and he's got a bit of time you know to for the ball to reach his foot basically. Yeah. Okay. So um, I think that we'll progress with Hugh and uh, and Rene's removed. And what I'd like is a, a panel decision on whether we need to remove Liam as well. Um, it does take the calculated average a little bit higher up. Um, again, further away from my choice, um, which it would then be the lowest, or whether to leave Liam in, um, who's obviously on the same line as my choice. Um, but I don't know whether it's because it's it's the furthest away. Um, I'd like to to ask one further player, uh, Leo. Sorry, Judge, you're very close again to the calculated average, and, and I wonder what your thoughts were on on how he's going to play, uh, obviously being a footballer as well as Anna. Um. Yes. <clears throat> Hi, mate. Yeah. I just, <clears throat> excuse me. I just think uh, if you look at his foot, his foot is kind of opened up. So I think he's going to play it with the inside yeah. of his foot. Yeah. And I think he's going to, um, personally, I don't think he's going to control it. I think the ball's going to come down and with the inside of his foot, he's going to play the ball. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, that yeah. was my, my impression as yeah. well. I think the same. I'm just obviously just a bit lower. Okay. Um, so um, I'll f- put the first panel vote to whether Liam's should stay in or not. Um, I think he should go um, just because I think it's a it's too close to the player in blue with the foot position as we've discussed. Andy, uh, for me, Matt, I, I just don't feel that he's looking that low, and that goes. 
personally, not just for Liam, for a few in there, but that's why I've placed my cross up there. So in this case, on Liam's blue, then yes, I would yeah. take it out. Okay. Hugh? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Alain? I agree also. I don't think he's looking that low. Yeah. Kieran? Yeah, I agree. Good one. Yeah. Okay. Nigel? Um, yeah, I, actually, I think that's okay there, but uh, I'm happy to go with the majority. Um, I do think that possibly on a pivot, he could lean backwards into that. But uh, yeah. yeah, I do understand what everyone's saying though, so I'm okay with that. Yep. Liam? Can I ask for a recount? <laughs> <laughs> you can. It's five. <laughs> it's five. Uh, I'll go. Uh, listen, uh, if, that's the, if that's the view of the, the view of the guys, then that's the view of the guys and yeah. Okay. Uh, Rene? Yeah, I think I'd take it. I don't think he's looking that low. Yeah, okay. And then last, Ari. Yeah, I, 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 would, I would take it out as well. Okay, fine. So we'll remove Liam. Um, and again, we'll have a, a last vote to, to progress um, to the judge average with Hugh, Liam and Rennie's removed. If there's any dissenters to that, as opposed to yes or no, um, we're well, happy to, to proceed, yeah? Yeah, proceed. Okay. Yeah, proceed. Yeah, yeah, happy with that. Thanks, Charlie. Uh, we've come to a panel decision to um, progress with the um, judge average with Hugh, Liam and Rennie's um, choices removed. Thanks a lot, Matt. Um, please, please click submit. Thank you, judges. Uh, so the coordinates selected are uh, 5521003. These coordinates will now be passed to the auditing company assets to calculate the winner of the competition, and they will then inform VATB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.